Well, happy birthday, darling. Um, exciting day, you know, you're 28. I mean, I can't imagine, you know, like my little daughter, my little cute Livy, has um, uh, become 20 now, you know. Um, it's unfortunate, you know, we're not uh, in touch yet, you're not seeing me. But I'm just here, you know, five minutes away from Jerengong, so, you know, I'm sure my energy connects with you. I miss you every day, you know. There's not a day go by I don't miss you, whether I'm in Australia or I'm traveling overseas, you know, mentioning overseas, come over, you know, join me to my, when I go overseas, my next trip probably will be uh, Vietnam uh, and Nepal once the border opens up. So yeah, you're welcome to come. And if you have some special friend to bring along, bring along, you know, um, and explore as a traveler, not as a tourist. Papa doesn't travel as a tourist. I travel as a traveler, you know, enjoying local culture, customs, food especially, you know, a lot of yummy food to the places I go. Philippines, Vietnam, Taiwan, night markets, absolutely gorgeous, delicious food. So yes, darling, I miss you. Hope you have a great day. Uh, hope you're having a good life. I actually have um, bought a car for you, for your birthday present, um, and I will get it uh, delivered to you soon. Okay, hope you can, uh, you can drive, I'm sure you can drive now, you're 20. Uh, I'll get, I've got an automatic because I wasn't sure whether you can drive manual. So yeah, I'll get that uh, sorted to be delivered to you. Um, I could not be proud more of you, darling. Um, you know, I'm sure, you know, you are a kind person, compassionate person. Um, doesn't matter, you know, how uh, you look towards our relationship, I'm always here for you. I'm always here to pick you up, you know, if life throws one of those huddle like it has done for your papa. Um, look, papa has always accepted, I have always accepted for things that was uh, my mistake in in my relation um, with your mama. Uh, but look, there is a bigger truth and I will seek, I will, you know, uh, encourage you to seek the truth because I'm sure you haven't been told the whole story. You know, there is things I accept, but there are things they're not true. They're simply lies uh, that have been told to the court uh, and the way the uh, court system works, you know, the the, the bias, the discrimination, and on the conscious and also on the unconscious level. First time in life, your papa uh, had to go through the experience of unconscious discrimination, racial discrimination, not in just in the court system. It's what's sad to see even people I loved and people who were close to me uh, showing racial discrimination some on the consciously, some consciously, and some on the unconscious level without mentioning names. Saying that, I have nothing against anyone. I am always compassionate, always open-hearted, because when you hold grudges against people, you can never move forward. You can never enjoy life. And I live from abundance lifestyle. You know, I just love, um, and I, with uh, my, studying deeply into psychology and human behavior, why people behave the way we do. It's just natural when people are put, you know, people can always say, remember this darling, people, if anyone says they're evolved and they're this, they're that, they're all that good, watch them, how they behave when they're put in a place of insecurity and fear, you know, if they behave like those primate animal, which I have experienced within our family, unfortunately, during the course of three, four years of the court process, people coming out literally behaving like animals because of uh, perceived fear. It's not a real fear, it's a perceived fear because 
I guess again anxious people have this mindset of always what would go wrong instead of thinking on the positive side positive energy and uh, I understand you know with people who are anxious it gets so overwhelmed they say get so consumed they can they have this tunnel reason of only they can see what can go wrong but look you know I'm enjoying life uh, I wish I could share my life with you the holidays everything I do every time I go overseas any fun thing I do I miss you I miss the great time we had as Papa and my little daughter Levy, especially you know those uh, mouse traps uh, you know we used to do uh, once a year um, you know at um, Jamboree you know all those uh, slides I miss holding my daughter in my arms and having that experience you know so hopefully we can enjoy that again darling come to me I'm just here, you can see your papa. Don't believe everything you've been told, darling, okay? You are smart enough. You are, I want you to be mindful of what's been told and learn and know how to separate truth from lies. All I wanna say is, without holding any grudge against anyone or any negativity, you know, I'm all about energy. Um, whether I see you or not, I know I'm connected with you on a different level, you know, just like, with Wi-Fi, you know, if you can connect one computer to another around the world, there is another connection, the frequency with, I can, the universal connection that I connect as a father and daughter. No one can break that relationship ever. I'm always here for you. I have no grudge against anyone, absolutely anyone. Um, same goes with the man. She's been negative. I've been told things like, um, what was I told that I can never forget one thing uh, Betty said to me you s come go back to where you came from you know but look I treated her with compassion you know even though that is a very racist thing to say and I did mention that to your uh, mama at that stage that such things been said and which wasn't pleasant but I was told that that's not a racial comment. I mean, I don't know. If someone says that to you, go back where you came from because of the color of your skin um, or the kind of thinking you have, the culture. You know, the diversity, I say, is not about, you know, just, it's not a fancy word. It's about being able to be inclusive. You got to be able to, if you want to be acceptable, you know, have acceptance means you got to accept the different thinking of people who come from a different country, like your papa. You know, there's a lot of new things I've learned from the Western world, but there are things I value from my culture, the way I think. We think we from, come from collectivist culture, group culture, while the Western culture individuals is about me, my time, my space. We, are, we always think as a group, how is my action, my uh, you know, doing things can affect the group, my whole family. That's how uh, we do things, which is very different, and that's how uh, we have clashed. You know, so yeah. Uh, in, but at the end of the day, I have always done what is right for you, the kids, and the family as a whole. Yes, I have some weaknesses along the thing, and I had to work on it. You know, we all have weaknesses. No one is perfect and I accept that. And that's something, that's the mistake I accept. When I say I accept my mistakes, that's the mistake I accept that I have not been loyal to your ma uh, mama. That's something I accept. But other than that, I have always been good to your kids. I have never done anything questionable when it comes to kids. I have loved you, I've cared about you, and I've always been there for you. And I know, even though I don't see you, I'm always here for you, darling. Okay, I am here for you, no matter what happens. Life is uncertain. Life will always test you. There's a lot of challenges you're gonna go through in life. Um, I have, it has become me a stronger person, uh, and I'm fortunate, and I feel fortunate in that sense. Yes, I went through depression, I went through anxiety, everything, with everything that has happened. But when you hit the ro rock bottom, when there's no way down further, the only way is up. And that's why I bounce back, and I'm stronger than ever, and I can share this experience with you, 
if you're going through anxiety and I'm sure this whole what has happened unfortunately has impacted you uh, I'm sure I'm not sure whether she's being a psychologist but more than that uh, I guess you just need to be very mindful and uh, uh, don't hold grudges connect with people and uh, I want you to come to kind of come and connect with me so I can share everything that has happened you know and uh, I'm actually recording uh, YouTube uh, videos in through a separate channel um, and to tell my story you know I find a video an easier way I'm not good at writing so I find it easier I was thinking of writing a book and I did write a few chapters but it has become really uh, something I didn't really enjoy so I thought I'll just make a vlog record it up on the YouTube I'll send you a link where you can really know what really happened right from the beginning to the end and you can think for yourself you know whether things has been done right or uh, your father really had the social injustice uh, I am all for black life matters I feel the pain for the black fellows my friends who, are, who I play cricket from the Aboriginal communities around here Tarawal and others um, we know the uh, injustice people colored people like me and black other black fellows like Aboriginal people has to go through in this country it is a fact and which the white people white privileged people do not understand uh, and you darling being uh, part of me a colored person as well I'm sure you have realized this unconscious bias when people have said certain thing to you it just comes out I always say your body speaks before you utter a word what's people's body language always go with that rather than what they say you know it just comes out you know um, and I have seen that within the family as well but again look you don't hold negativity you know you see the people food who they are you move on think of abundance and just you know you have that uh, aura the positive energy we just cancel the my negative energy around you um, when you go through difficult times like I have and I'm sure you have as well even though you have still a big life ahead of you uh, you know dig deep and when you come out the other side you grow exponentially as a person cultivate the behaviors you know how to be grounded when you're emotionally charged you know we say it's bucket filling up when there's too much emotions coming in and always speak to people always speak to someone close to you whether it's a psychologist your family members or your friends brothers whoever speak to you come and speak to me so the bucket doesn't get really full and one day it bursts in a very ugly fashion okay so when you talk to people what happens is slowly releases that all that um, negative energy inside you and also every time you sit sit down and connect with your pain I'm sure you feel the pain like I do the f you know read if you can read on parental alienation okay it's very common among uh, people when they separate especially women do this uh, they alienate uh, the fathers from their kids which has a very long term uh, psychological impact and I'm really concerned for you in that sense so please connect to me so we can work on this so you, you know because you might feel you might be okay now or you're trying to avoid me to because you think you're not ready or you're really anxious but that doesn't really help in the long run it actually comes out really more when you're in your late 20s or early 30s when you start having your own family and all that it's all this um, uh, in, a, in your s subconscious memory bank called amygdala all these things are uh, memorized uh, whether you realize that or not consciously or unconsciously and it will all come out unless you have worked on it I don't I want you to have a great life great personal life happy fulfilling so it's good that you connect to your pain don't shut it off don't shrug it you know because it's there and if you don't connect it and uh, you know 
the way I have survived, darling, with depression and everything, you know, is that I've learned to, for a while, I learned to shut off the pain so I don't feel the pain because it was so intense, excruciating. But later I learned the technique to connect with the pain. But while I'm connecting with the pain, I'm missing you every day, every single day. There hasn't been a day when I haven't thought about you all, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, when you connect with your pain, what happens is, and you're still grounded, your brain neuro pathway says to you, hang on, you are connecting with your pain, but you're still okay. So every time you connect, you go back and connect every time, that pain gets a bit lesser and lesser. The pain will never go away. Pain might never go away, but you learn to stay grounded, stable, while connecting with your pain, while feeling this immense pain. I mean, talking to you right now, I feel intense pain within me of missing you. All this time we could have enjoyed, you know. I've lost almost everything when I lose you, you know. But then this is life, you know. What can you do? Uh, you can't have control on how other people perceive. Uh, people will always understand things from their level of perception until they increase their level of perception it's just not gonna go through so whatever I say of who I am how I behave how I do things it's not gonna go through other people's head until they bring their level of perception that's how it is darling and you can't force people you can't make people sit in front of you and um, you know put this through their head it has to come from within Happiness, contentment, all these things has to come within. Okay? So, I hope you, on your birthday, that you find happiness and contentment. No others. And emotional intelligence. All this IQ and all this rubbish. I don't uh, buy it. You know? Emotional intelligence will get you out there. Successful in every aspect of your life. Financial, everything. And talk about financial. I've got you as a beneficiary in my life insurance. Of a million dollar I've got some shares investments some cryptocurrency uh, investments some property investment for you so and some bank account has some money uh, it's all there for you okay if ever anything happens to me um, you contact your uncle Rajiv he has all the details uh, and you get all those financial things you know money and everything um, so yeah darling I um, love you unconditionally you know, whether you connect with me or not and whenever you have a time I'm sure you'll connect with me I have I feel that you'll connect with me you know and I have the patience to wait I'm just five minutes away but I'm I'm connecting with you every day you know through the universal connection no one can stop me from that I'm thinking of you uh, every single day no matter where I am so I love you darling and do check out uh, when you're ready not now, whenever you're ready, mentally ready, do check out the link for Papa's story that tells all about everything that has happened. What is the real truth that happened for you not seeing me? You know, what was the justification given by the court? You know, you can't trust these uh, courts, you know, because it's all bias. <laughs> That's my experience. Um, one thing I want to leave you with, darling, is every time you see yourself in a mirror, see yourself as a, I say to people, my kids are stolen generation too. If alienating you from me is the right thing, then it has to be right to alienate all those kids, all those Aboriginal kids from their uh, black mothers. You know, that was they gave the justification at that time they're saying that was the right thing to do even now some of the white people are telling that we should take away blackfellas kids and put it again uh, somewhere so we can westernize them you know into white people customs and your story is no different it's just that <clears throat> the white fellows even at the court the judge or whoever have even though they consciously want to be fair the unconscious bias, like we say in psychology, we will always relate to people, connect to people with the same color, same culture, same upbringing, um, same way of thinking. And I could I could see that play within the family law court when I was the only black fellow sitting there, the rest are all 
white fellows and the judgment is no different. So you are the face of stolen generation too, unfortunately. And I, I encourage you to seek the truth. Feel for those black fellows. You know, I know you have all your Australian friends. I do too. You know, it's not their fault. But we need to be have that higher consciousness to have that compassion. And uh, Papa also is studying law at the moment because I want to stand for the civil rights. Well, everything I have gone through in my life, I want to stand up for those who can't stand up themselves. So I'm fighting for the civil rights. Especially, I'm involved, heavily involved in Black Lives Matters, uh, the pain of the black fellows, which is my pain, your pain, and people like us, the colored people's pain. Um, that's how it is, darling. So happy birthday again, or from me, from grandma, grandpa, Riva has gone really tall, reminds me of you every time. Riva says hello, Ryan has grown as well, cheeky Ryan, I see them often. Uh, grandma and grandpa ask about you often. They really all they really want to see. Don't miss this opportunity, darling. They might not be around in a couple of years' time. So I really want to come and connect. You know, it's nothing to be fearful of. Even if you're anxiety, just connect, and you'll see. You know, it'll just come at natural. Uh, your loving papa, you know, the bigger than larger than life papa is here. The fun, exciting papa. Your fun and exciting papa is here. Connect got a boat, we can go fishing or just cruise around harbor. Uh, I've got a caravan, camper van, I can lend it out to you. You can go away with a special friend. I just went to Darwin, to Adelaide one month trip. Go, enjoy, caravan all fitted, camper van all fitted up. You know, go and enjoy life, darling, you know. Just come and connect, you are missing out on so much. Let's just enjoy, we won't talk about all this. This will be just in uh, my videos. You can watch when you want to know the real story, what actually happened, you know, what all the lies and the real truth of, uh, yeah, do Google search, parental alienation, you know, mothers do all these kind of things to have this full control, you know, of, with ulterior motive, they make all these allegations, on true allegation to have an upper hand on custody. That's how it is. It's been going on for, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, it's all documented. Just do parental alienation on Google search and it will all come. And if you read it, it will all make sense to you what has really happened to you, okay? Um, I don't want you to be negative towards your anyone, okay? Uh, who has put, put us into this situation. You know, we just feel compassion. We just move on with our life and enjoy life. You know, we don't need to there's no revenge required because that is again a negative energy, you know. We just enjoy life. Karma never forgets an address. If someone has done wrong, if I've done wrong, I've been through my karma. And if someone else has done wrong, whether it's man or whoever else, well, let the karma look after that, you know. Nobody has control on that. All right, guys. All right, darling. Love you. Five minutes away. Come and connect. Let's have fun together, you know? You remember your exciting papa, you remember your fun papa. I'm always like that, you know? I always have that energy around me to enjoy life, enjoy this moment, because that's all it that matters. All right, darling? Beautiful day here in Kaima, and I'm thinking of you on your 28th birthday. My little darling, Livy. Little girl, who I used to love, who I used to play so much, has grown. All right, darling, you have a great day. I love you unconditionally, and I'm always, always here for you. Anything happens, it's just a call, phone call away. All right, darling, I love you very much. Happy birthday.